What is up guys, Call here. Today we're doing something different yet again, and that is having a look at my Foldertech i3 2020 3D printer. So this is a Foldertech i3 printer, which I've modified quite heavily, as well as built a little case for it. So I thought we'll have a look at it, and later on I'll try to do some filament reviews and tips and tricks and such. So to start off with, on the outside, this is a messy desk, a 50 by 50 by 50 basically, built with uh, two pieces of shelving, as well as 2020 extrusions with some 3D printed corners. And uh, the top and the bottom are both attached to the frame. Currently the printer itself is not attached, but that will come later as long as those feet find a good a good new spot with some special corners I'm gonna print. The printer case is on it's too dark down there. There's some rubber feet so reducing vibrations to the desk. On the outside, the one facing the window is a, uh, I don't know what you want to call this, a board of some sort, which is on the back as well, where I have the control center with a Raspberry Pi running Octoprint, power supply, the, yeah, I can't really see it, but the fan down there is on the Mega and the ramps, as well as a MOSFET behind it, and a 3D printed button case to protect my fingers and a little temp meter there so you can see the interior temperature with the probe hanging up there so the sides which are facing me both have acrylic doors which I've currently just taped some magnets to keep it shut works quite well the right side of this shelving has actually bowed a bit. I'm not sure if it's because of the heat or just the, the board itself. But I'm gonna try to pry it up because currently you have to pry up the door. And it won't really go and shut completely so you have to push it. But it's quite convenient to have two doors so I can open it and access the prints from both sides. So the printer itself is, as I said, the, the i3 2020 kit from Foldertech, which I'm running the Maker's DR kit on the bottom with some iGIS bearings, the stock heated bed but with a borosilica glass with PI sheet on it, I actually have two. Those clamps, I'm not sure if I'm gonna print, I've seen some prints in which you can basically have those and just shove it in without having these extra clamp supports, but uh, it works for now. I did have a, uh, a cable chain, but that started squeaking too much and I removed it for now. It works like this with just holding one of the cables to the frame itself. Uh, Maker's DR there as well, some 8mm lead screws from Banggood. Uh, those I'm gonna fix some, some uh, anti-backlash nuts as well. And uh, running I guess on this, the X carriage as well. Currently I have the stock extruder and um, hot end. But I'm gonna change that to a V6 eventually. Uh, some extensions for the motors, as you've seen many do. Cable sleeve, pretty much all of the cables, although since I'm changing this I haven't really fixed the, the X carriage yet. But all of the others, Maker's DR back there, and a little corner down there. And the good thing about having the 2020 is that not only can you make attachment for this filament guide, which this is a uh, what's it called? 
polypropylene, which I'm gonna try. It's from Verbatim. I'm gonna make a review of that. I built this little support as well, having one bracket up there in the roof so I can attach. That's a display support and have other other things. And uh, this is just two corner brackets going down to another corner bracket with can't remember the thing file but it's two of the spare bearings that you got in the kit. Runs pretty well. Haven't experienced any problems with this compared to other spool holders. Oh, pink PLA down there which is it's actually a good place to drive because when I run PET G in here it goes up to uh, about 37 degrees Celsius so it's a good place to to dry this PLA because the vacuum pack here was actually broken on this one so I'm not sure of the status and I don't want to put it in the oven just yet so that is a little quick overview on my Folger Tech i3 modded with its little casing there. Be sure to uh, check up later. Oh, focus there. Be sure to check out uh, the channel later for some verbatim reviews. I also have a few others from German Rep Rap and Leapfrog I'm gonna have a look at. So, thank you for checking out this quick video, and I'll see you next time.